Let's take a look at zooming on a TI-73 uh, calculator. And we're going to start with this one. Uh, y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6. So I'll press my y equals, press my clear, and then I got my x squared. So there it is, x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now I'll press graph. Now my uh, zoom is already screwed up, so I'm going to show you how to fix it to begin with. So I do zoom, and then you want to choose uh, Z standard, so I do 6. This gives us our um, standard viewing window. Well, I'm going to show zoom in, so if I do zoom, you see the second one is zoom in. So I press, uh, I can either down arrow to it and press enter on it, or I can press the numbers in front of it and press the 2. Now this is waiting for us to position our cursor where we want to zoom in at. So I do my right arrow key to move it over right here. Let me do an up arrow a little bit. And that's what the cursor looks like. Now once you get it to where you want to zoom in at, you press enter. And that will be your new center. Now it um, it's still in zoom in mode, so if I press enter one more time, you see it zooms in again. Now you should wait till it comes back before you uh, press enter or do anything. So I'm going to try to get it to hang up. So do enter and I'll press enter again. Now see the four little dots that's going in the upper right hand corner? That's gone off to never never land. That's not coming back. To get it to kick out of that you just press enter one more time. And again that will occur when you get impatient and you start pressing enter too, uh, too fast. Well I've zoomed in so much now I can't see anything. Set it again back to your standard viewing window. You do zoom and you choose 6, Z standard. So that was zooming in. Let's look at zoom box. If I press zoom, the first one says Z box. So if I press enter on it, uh, if I do an up arrow and left arrow, you'll see my cursor. We're going to put this in the upper left hand corner of the box we want to draw. And uh, that's good right there. So press enter. You want to make sure you only press one enter one time there. Now I'm pressing the right arrow key over and over, but you can hold down on it to have it very quickly go over. And we're going to want to put the cursor in the lower right hand corner of our box. And if you go too far, you can go back, you can go up, so forth. Now once you get it in the lower right hand corner of your box, then you press enter. And this will only zoom in just what you drew the box around very precise way it gives you total control over the zooming which is what I love and then you can see whatever you, whatever you want to see and again set it back you do zoom and choose six for Z standard okay let's take a look at our second one here y is equal to x squared minus 400 and if I press y equals press clear I'm gonna have my x squared minus 400 and then I'll press graph. And we don't see anything. Um, we can, uh, we're going to take a look at zoom out now. So if I do zoom and choose the third one. So the three for the zoom out. Now again it's not doing anything. It's waiting for us to position the cursor where we want the new center to be. And the origin's fine. So I'll just go ahead and press enter one time. And then it zooms out by one factor. Now, if I kept pressing enter, zoom out, by, zoom out, keep zooming out. Um, at this point, I could change to a different zoom. I could choose zoom and choose Z box. And let's say I'm just interested in the x-intercepts, where my cross is, where my graph is crossing the x-axis. So I move, move it right here. Press enter one time, and then move it down and move it to the right. I'll hold down on this. Again, I'm drawing a box around just where the x-intercepts is, so I can see more about those. So get those there, and then once you get that, you press enter, and again, it zooms in just on that part. To set it back, zoom, and then z-standard again. Okay, last thing I want to show you is window. Uh, and this is where you can set your own window settings. Uh, so you see it goes from negative 10 to 10, and uh, then x scales 1. That's negative 10 here, 
positive 10 here, and each one of these tick marks goes by 1. So if I go back to window, let me set that to negative 40 and 40. And then this X scale, I'm going to change to 10. I'm not quite sure what this, de this uh, delta X is here, to be honest. Uh, but let's press graph. And um, I'm going to window settings. What did I do? Negative 4. I meant negative 40. Okay, that didn't look right. Okay, negative 40. And then by 10. So let me press graph. That looks better. Here's negative 40, and here's positive 40, and it goes by 10s. So it's negative 40, negative 30, negative 20, negative 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. Looks like uh, it's crossing the x-axis, or x-intercepts are negative 10, 20 and, neg and positive 20, which they are. Um, there's a danger with window, though. If I come here, instead of putting negative 40, I screw up and put 50. Notice my x-min is greater than my x-max. And now if I press graph, I get an error of window range. Well, to fix any kind of uh, zooming issues or window settings you've screwed up on your calculator, you just press zoom and then choose Z standard 6. And that fixes all of your um, all of your issues that might come up there. And that's zooming on a TI-73 TI-73 calculator.